I've already cut into one, but I made these pizza pocket skull, or skull pizza pockets, I should say. Now they're not perfect. You can't really see their lips as well, but they're still creepy cool. And there's cheese, pepperoni, um, mozzarella, Parmesan, marinara, and pepperoni. We're gonna have this for our Sunday brunch. I also just made some sugar-free brownies. Um, I did put some mini chocolate chips and walnuts in it as well, and one thing of sugar-free pudding mix. Oh, Chris just took out the recycling. I was gonna show you the box, but I will insert the box right here. It's the Pillsbury sugar-free mix. It actually is really good, but you have to keep the brownies in the fridge, um, but they're delicious. So I will show you what I do to them in a second here. Haven't shown you our cute little Halloween setup. We didn't go too crazy this year, um, just cause we've been really busy, but we are gonna do Christmas lights. So we got our ghost inflatable. Chris just got these all hooked up for us. We've got our skeletons. This one's my favorite that Chris set up. <laughs> Peeking in the corner. Hey guys. Doesn't that look bomb? We're having some um, potato salad and barbecue grilled chicken that Chris just made. So good. I already had a bite of mine. This is his plate. It's Halloween and we're all ready for the trick-or-treaters tonight. Now, which candy would you pick is what I want to know. We've got M&M's, Starbucks, a uh, Star Starbucks. <laughs> Clearly, I'm thinking of coffee this morning. Starburst, Snickers, Twix, and I think Reese's Take Five. Did I already say M&M's? I did. I think there's one other candy in there. So a little bit basic today for Halloween, kitty cat. Um, got little whiskers and cat eyeliner. And then I've got my unique vintage shirt on that's Hocus Pocus themed. This is a black flame candle. It's got the black cat um, and everything they fly on. <laughs> Cute, right? Just a little nod to Halloween or a little extra nod to Halloween. I know one of my other coworkers and friends is gonna dress up like a cat too, so I'll insert a picture if we take one. So I'm making worms and eyeballs for dinner, my traditional Halloween meal, which is turkey meatballs, my mom's turkey meatballs that I now make, and spaghetti. So I'll show you when it's all done, but you I got gotta it. show you this. See this empty bucket right here? Remember I showed you it this morning? I don't know if I told you, but we weren't expecting many kids to come because last year we had like maybe a handful of kids and nobody after seven o'clock. Well, today we ran out of candy because we were giving them like three, four pieces each thinking that there wasn't going to be a lot of kids. That was a dumb move because we then were out of candy by like around seven. So note to self, next year up the game, I guess, because last year, I don't know if I told you, but last year we got a Costco bag size of candy. And yeah, then no one came. So yeah, lesson learned, I guess. Well, I'm at Michael's and they're already taking out all the Christmas stuff. If you guys like the Lee Max line, looks like they have all kinds now. They have an ice skating, a toy shop. Santa's Rooftop Bash. I love the carousel.
I'm about to leave for work, but before I forgot to tell you, I am loving the pumpkin pie lip liquid lipstick from Too Faced. I've been wearing it for a couple days in a row and it wears so well. I forgot how well they wear, but I do need like um, a lip balm in the middle of the day because it does start to dry out a little bit. Um, but isn't it so pretty? I love it. Um, then I'm wearing my cozy shirt that I think I showed you this shirt last week. I probably wore it last week because I don't have that many um, long sleeve shirts. I, when I moved, I got rid of a lot of my clothes. So hence why I've been purchasing like stuff on Amazon more recently and stuff. Cause I kind of have to um, ramp up my winter clothes too. So you'll be seeing some new pieces coming through soon probably. I am the happiest clam this morning. Christmas cups are back and Christmas drinks are back at Starbucks today and it's my anniversary today too, our three year anniversary. Um, we exchanged gifts this morning and I will show you when I get home and talk about it a little bit more later in the car because I'm walking into work. But I had to show you guys that the cups are back. I will show you when I get inside or maybe just real quick here. Um, also, I'll insert a clip right here of all the different cups. Of course, I really want one of the red ones because I like the traditional color of the red ones that they um, originally had. Okay, I'm getting kind of cold. Okay, I gotta go, but I just wanted to mention that real quick. I'll show you guys all the fun later because we are gonna go to dinner for our anniversary. I think it's called Maple and Ash here in Scottsdale and it's like a really nice fancy restaurant. We always like to have um, like spend a little bit more on our anniversary for a nice dinner. So I will share that with you later. I'm wearing my leopard dress that I got from Kohl's years ago. I have flats on right now, but I'll be changing later into some heels. Now don't get me wrong, she's cute, she's festive, but I rather the red cup. I can't wait to get one of the red ones. Walking Lola. I feel like I never show Lola bear. That's what I call her. She looks like a little bear. The Lola's one of our other office doggies. It's a super cloudy day today, but I'm kind of loving it. It's pouring. I don't know if you can even see how much, but it's chilly willy. Rain's lucky on your anniversary, right? <laughs> it is on your wedding day, at least, so I'm gonna take it. I wish I was home cuddled with hot cocoa in a book right now. Going to Maple and Ash for dinner, my handsome husband. <laughs> Look how amazing this is. We get to take this home too. They also brought us a prickly pear martini, which is amazing, vodka based. Oh. And then they also brought us something with caviar and some yummy bread. We did the roasted asparagus. I have a petite filet and then we have a truffle loaded potato with like candied bacon and so many yummy deliciousness. And Chris got a bone in filet. Yum, yum, yum. That was such a good dinner, you guys. We had such a good time at Maple and Ash, so definitely recommend them if you have not been in Arizona. I had the um, petite filet, and Chris had the stay. I think it was the bone in filet, um, and we had the fire roasted asparagus and the black truffle loaded potatoes, which were amazing. This is Chris modeling his new leather jacket that he received for his anniversary. Doesn't it look dapper? Very nice, very nice. <laughs> Actually, it is really nice. It does look good. Nice. Styling and profiling. So I was just filming some reels, um, some like Thanksgiving outfit ideas and just items I've been loving um, that I recently purchased. And one of the items is what I'm wearing right now. It is a tank, like a little crop tank. Um, like a cami actually, excuse me, like a cami. And I wear it without a bra and it's so comfortable and semi-supportive. I feel like it's enough support underneath like tops. Sometimes I'll wear them. I'll wear them um, at the gym for like another layer of support. I don't wear them on their own unless I'm just doing like yoga, nothing like high intensity. These are not for high intensity workouts, but like lounging around in the house. They came in a set of three and they're so soft and so comfortable. Um, yeah. Just thought I would quickly mention that while I was working overtime, which the bed is a mess right now because I have all the clothes and everything on the bed and yeah, I need to get going. So. 
perfect. One more piece I want to share with you guys is a super cute dress. I love it. I do believe it comes in different shades, but it cinches in on your waist. It's elastic right here, but then it also has a drawstring. So it's like double cinch in your waist. Um, I have it slightly unbuttoned, but it buttons all the way down. It has pockets. It has these really cute bubble sleeves detail. And I love the colors for fall, right? It's just like a really fun check for fall. And it's super soft. Do you see a theme here? I like Items that are soft, cozy, comfortable. Those are the things that I reach for all the time for like work and just outfits in general. I totally could see myself wearing this to work, this, this dress, but I have, I have tights on and combat boots. Totally can style this so many different ways, but um, I was thinking this would be super cute for Thanksgiving, which is what I'm going to be posting it about. <laughs> I'm currently making the pumpkin cookies that I've shown you guys before from, originally I found it from Weight Watchers, like I'm talking about, I don't even know, 20 years ago. <laughs> but this is a spice cake mix with one can of pumpkin. Mix it all together, plop it onto your cookie sheet by tablespoon and cook for eight to 10 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. So good, so like, hate to say it, but so moist. <laughs> so like, they're like a cakey cookie, but they're really soft and they're so good because of all the spices from the spice cake. Amazing, I already posted it on Instagram, I think too. And it's low calorie, so yeah. So I just realized I never shared my beautiful new planner from Chris with you guys. Um, it's made with genuine leather for the outside. And then the sleeves inside you can replace over time. So I don't have to keep buying new planners. I just have to buy the inserts to clip in, which I thought was such a good idea. Um, I already started using it, as you can see. But I love the stamping on it that he had. Hey guys, it's like eight in the morning on a Saturday morning. I'm about to go into um, Club Pilates for my Pilates class, but I have a sweater on over my gym clothes because it's so cold and I put the heater on in my car for the first time this morning and I was so cuddled up in my blankets. I did not want to go work out but I'm gonna get this done. And I can't believe I'm working out right before I'm pretty much gonna be working out the entire weekend because I'm starting Christmas this weekend. So what am I doing to myself? I don't know, but this is an actual workout. So <laughs> I'm gonna get in there now. Look at Holly. She has Rudolph. She's ready for the Christmas season too. Okay, I just wanted to show you guys, this is the third year I've used this King of Christmas tree. And I'm so impressed by it. It's holding up so well. And that's not really that bad. Now, when I put up the Walmart tree later, you'll see that it gets real messy. So I'm pretty impressed by how little that is. And there's not that much inside the bag either. Tree number two. Up. And I found my gloves. These are a lifesaver. They came with my King of Christmas tree last year, I think. And they help not have all these scratch marks from these, especially these more plastic trees. They're so scratchy. Beauty room tree is done with the lights at least. I'm just trying to get all the lights and all the trees up pretty much today. I can't remember if I vlogged these for you guys yet, but they are the cutest little gingerbread houses from Valerie Parr Hill on QVC. Um, and she just had these out again, I think this week. They are so cute. They come in a set of three. You can gift them individually or, you know, like me, you just keep them all because you love gingerbread houses and they light up. I just put this one on only. And making progress on this tree's lights. This year I'm doing it totally different. The lights are being done from bottom to top. And apparently that's how professional tree decorators do it. They don't do it around and around. 
um, like I've always done it. So I'm trying it out and I think it looks amazing. And I'm really glad that I tried that way this year. Um, so I thought I'd share with you guys too. So you separate your tree into three sections and then just start from the bottom and wrap around the branches and keep going up instead of around. Try it this year. It definitely works nice. First Christmas movie for me of the season. I have to do something to get in the festiveness, you know? We were listening to music earlier, but I just couldn't do it yet. <laughs> she's done for now there's a couple places that i need to fix still but that's it for the night because i've got to start editing the vlog but look how cute holly is <clears throat> sleeping i love that the christmas tree is here a little sneak peek to where what i'm doing this year changing up where i'm putting the trees um, I don't think I'm going to have a kitchen tree back there this year, just the central tree. Um, then we're going to use the piano like a mantle. So this will be set up like a mantle. I'm just so excited. I can't wait, wait to share everything, all my ideas with you guys this year. And for now, I will see you next week. <laughs>